Welcome to another Philip Gore II medieval custom scenario. This is Northampton 1460. Uh, I'm a wholly ignorant American when it comes to the Wars of the Roses. Description says, for the battle, there have been some communication between the Yorkist commanders and the leader of the right flank of the Lancastrian army. What would be the outcome of these talks? I have no idea and I'm too lazy to look it up. So, you know, we're going with it. Heavy rain is falling. I don't know what effect that has on things. Stream not open, obstacle, uh, okay, well, that is intimidating, why don't we try to, try to get some men around that way to spread out, this division can start shifting over, as can this one, no idea what our units of prickers, that's like light horse. I think uh, if I recall correctly, yeah, they use that word in um, uh, Scalacronica, I think, which describes Bannockburn among other battles. All right, we'll just try to advance forward, see if we can get some units around this edge, perhaps. We don't have time for super long maneuvers with only 18 turns to do this. Treachery. The Lancastrian right flank has deserted the field. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I won't waste time trying to flank this, then. Let's try to get... These guys all piled in. Is there a way across? There's a bridge. Is there another bridge? No, so no sense sending light cavalry all the way back there. Great. Next turn. Next turn, in response, not especially. Could just hammer our way in with our heavies. Or start trying to arc around. How's that? Not the best. Screw it, get in. Charge or wait? Eh, charge. Follow that up. Okay. You lot keep shifting over. Okay. Those are our billmen and longbowmen, so they're going to start shooting at us soon. That's all right. All billmen, no longbowmen. Nope, we are all set for melee. Okay. Next turn. Hmm. Let's 
push. All right. Next turn. That's a waste of arrows. Now, how bad is that? Bad, so why don't we here? They're raw, so you charge in there. It's quasi acceptable. Get in. You could punch a hole here. That would be better. Uh huh. Height 100. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if we can't encourage movement because we only have the two rounds of ammo though we're not going to fire yet we're going to wait so that we can get the uh, full firing bonus for staying still before opening up Okay, push on in, prepare for contact, next turn, so we'll fire one more volley and then charge in. In the meantime, it's even combat, let's take advantage of that, then pile you in. With that, here, hold that obstacle there, and with that we're going to get through. We're out of ammo, so you hang out and wait, and get more men over here. turn. Well, that's okay. We have the obstacle to hopefully help us hold out for a time. So 
see what happens there. Good, and we could pile in the Y bother. I think it would be better to try to push through this gap. Okay. So, one more volley. Great. Like that, because then we can pile in again. And at this point, we're going to have to brave the obstacle to try to use numbers to gain an advantage here. to be irritating if nothing else. Crossover, good. looking pretty smooth. Next turn, it's looking good. Uh, to be fair, I assume the scenario is pretty heavily balanced against my Castrians. Smash into those levy foot. Pile in behind. Break. Great. What happens if you charge? Eh, not worth it. Here. You prepare to join the fray. Should be able to auto break this unit soon. By soon, I mean now. Then, that's blocked now. That's what it is. Here, charge. Ugh. Obstacle and hill. Oh well. Pile in for combat strength modifier. They still have arrows? Probably not. So, in that case, push up, raw units in reserve. Threaten the flank and engage so we can set up an auto drop. This is not a flank? No, because this obstacle corner is protecting them. So, prepare here. Stop our unit from falling back. It does suffer. Get past. Pile in? Sure. Try drop, it's not likely. And no dice. Right, be ready to replace them. This is unfortunate. We're holding for now, but for how long? I guess keep our men hemmed in and we can go for a flank there. Right, and that's all. Next turn. Okay, yeah, we knew that was coming. Could be worse. We get the obstacle in our favor, and everyone's disorder here. No, it's just a stream. Okay.
Nice. Why don't you set up auto drops? Keep on them. Great. Pile on in. Get him out of there. <clears throat> That's not not horrible. Now we could charge, but why would we? It's okay. Here, pile in. Good. Uh huh. Right, force the auto drop. Frag. Good. I wonder about that. Interesting. That's an edge case I didn't think about, so fighting lancers. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, and then plus one. So yeah, uh, these are light cavalry, they have lancers, and I didn't realize, but of course it makes sense that even light horse lancers inflict minus one and two cohesion checks taken by infantry. Here, attempt to stick this, because if they do, we can force an auto drop. Great, uh, sure. Try for it. No, and then you're gonna get wasted, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Next turn. Okay then. Uh, so, like I've said before, this is a series of scenarios primarily designed to be played as part of a two-player text campaign. So as such, you know, the scenarios aren't necessarily individually balanced, even if they are collectively balanced. So, this scenario pretty clearly favors the uh, You know, my opponent did maybe some things that should have done shooting arrows at long range or things like that, but overall, yeah, I mean, you didn't make any obvious mistakes, it just seems like a very tough scenario for throwing Caspian, so I'll be sure to say that, uh, just to let him know that this wasn't some kind of, you know, total white pad or anything. So, a good game. Until next time.